Do you need to split your data set before training a voice in RVC? I think I have an answer to that as I did some testing this week. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So here we have the training graphs. If you want to know a little bit more on what's happening here, you can go check out my TensorBoard video. However, I'll break it down a little bit here. We're going to go ahead and have the smoothing up to max here. The green is the unseparated vocal file. And then the orange are the split data set. This is what I mean by the unseparated data set. We just have one long audio file. And then here's what I mean by a split split and separated data set, there are a bunch of tiny clips inside of the data set. So what I'm going to do is grab two low points on the graph to kind of simulate uh, the quote unquote best points of the model. I'm going to grab the 8.8K for the Marine unseparated, and then I'm going to pull the 9.2K for the Marine split data set or the separate data set. I'm going to go ahead and do an inference over in RVC and then we're going to go ahead and take a listen. So here are the outputs of the model inference over the same audio. We've got the split one and then the unsplit one or the unseparated. So let's go ahead and take a listen. We're going to start by playing unseparated and then after we're going to play the separated or the split one. So take a listen with headphones to determine which one you think is the best. I need food. Sets. All seems so fun, but it's actually quite cumbersome. Oh my god, I think the tape doesn't have like a... A split? Oh, found it! Found it, boys. <laughs> Ooh, listen to that ASMR. Tiny food... Sets... All seems so fun, but it's actually quite cumbersome. Oh my god, I think the tape doesn't have like a... A split? Oh, found it! Found it, boys. <laughs> Ooh, listen to that ASMR. So, what did you guys think? I personally thought that the split one sounded a little bit better. There was less background noise than the unsplit one. Um, however, this is only for one audio sample. I have tested it on multiple different audio files, singing, talking. Sometimes the unseparated model sounds better than the separated model. And then sometimes the separated model sounds better than the unseparated model. If we take a look at the graphs here, you can see that the separated vocal file actually has a lower loss than the unseparated vocal file on the exact same audio file or data set. So for me, if I had to draw a quick conclusion, I would say that Either one is fine to train a voice model on. One way of training did not result in a model that was so much better than the other way of training. However, one thing to note is that the unseparated vocal file, you don't have to run it through the whisper script that splits it all up. And you can let RVC handle all of the pre-processing, which is a bonus as well. For me, I'm going to continue splitting the audio file and making data sets that way. However, I'm not going to shorten the clips anymore to 10 seconds or less. I'm just going to let Whisper split it itself and allow RVC to handle those longer files since I know it now will not run out of memory. But if you want to do the unseparated vocal file way, I'm going to show how I did it and the way that was explained to me. And we're just going to go ahead and run through that real quick. So for this, I expect that you already have a vocals file split with UVR. If you haven't downloaded UVR, you can go ahead and head on over to this GitHub site where you can download the Windows installation right here or Mac if you've got one down here. I detailed it in many of my other videos, so I'm not going to go over it in detail here, but you can download it and separate your vocals with this. And once you have a vocal file, you need to install Audacity. So what you can do is search up the Microsoft Store, search up Audacity in the Microsoft Store, and then you can go ahead and install it via the Microsoft Store, or you can go and install it via the website as well here. I'm going to show how to do it with the one installed from the Microsoft Store. So once you have that, you can go ahead and open Audacity. And all we're going to do is drag in that audio file. So here is that WAV file. We're going to go ahead and drag it into our Audacity timeline and then let it load. So we're going to apply an effects over the entire audio file to truncate silence. So to select the file, we do Control A, or you can click the bar up here, go to effects, go to special, and then go to truncate silence. Enter in negative 45 for dB, 0 0.25 for seconds, and then truncate to 0 0.1 seconds, and then click apply. And then one thing to note is you'll see the audio file shrink to a much smaller number because it's truncating all of those audio silences. So here we went from close to two hours and 30 minutes all the way down to closer to around an hour and 45. So once you have this audio file, all you have to do is make sure everything is highlighted, go to file, and then go to export 
and then export as WAV file. So find where you want to save it to and then rename it. And then you can go ahead and click save. And then this window is going to pop up. Just go ahead and click OK. Now it's going to export the audio to WAVE. And if we head back on over into this folder, we do now have our truncated WAVE file. To get it compatible with RVC, all we have to do is create a folder. We're going to call this one whatever you want to call it. Just training, make sure there are no spaces. And then we're just going to drag and drop this file into here. So all we need is just one file inside of that folder and then all of these same RVC training steps apply. So that's going to be it for today's video. Once again, thanks to the community member who reached out and told me about this um, or else I wouldn't have tried it. Um, so this is another method or another way that you can use to train AI voices in RVC. And I think this will be a solid method for a lot of people out there, especially if you're running into issues with Whisper for transcription. So that's going to be all for today's video. I hope to see you guys next time and uh, see you later, guys.